just what you guys were expecting another small block dodge on my channel I don't know everything comes in spurts with this stuff so you remember how I said I was pretty much out of the running for this year for my dart then this happened it's a 1973 340 so it's a cast crank uh, externally balanced 340 cubic inch Mopar small block uh, for those of you that don't know this 340 was made from uh, I believe 68 to 73 uh, 73 being the last year of production um, up until then they ran a forged steel crank but uh, the last year of production they ran uh, cast crank to cut costs as they were into emissions issues and this thing has never been bored out it looks like a standard bore which is four inch and forty thousandths and the crank has never been cut or machined it's all standard rod and standard mains this engine spent a long time uh, sitting in a drag car and getting about a dozen passes a summer and after that it ended up in my friend's circle track race car uh, I want to say that was around 2007 no 2003 2004 it ended up in his circle track car where he was racing it and he lost oil pressure uh, at idle he had oil pressure given a gas so he figured the bottom end was wore out he didn't want to destroy it so he took it out of his race car uh, only ran it for three races and here we are years later it just sat and sat he had it wrapped up and protected uh, took his heads in and taken everything off for the other engine he put in the race car and well now it's mine so this one right here is going to go into my dart um, I briefly checked the mains and rods I have to be a little thorough a little more thorough um, but so far everything looks good it's measuring out just fine it came with a windage tray and uh, oil pump and everything oil pan was on it I'm giving him back his oil pan and oil pump and pickup tube I am going to take the camshaft out now I I did some measuring I also he also gave me a total of three cams the one in the block and two more Mopar performance purple shaft cams and I went through the degreeing of the camshafts as best I could um, and anyway I actually found the correct numbers uh, for these cams this guy looks like a comp cam it's got uh, 465 intake lift 475 exhaust and um, I can't remember the duration uh, one of the cams is kind of small for my liking or smaller uh, it's 450 and 455 inch lift and small duration like 228 I believe or 230 smaller than I want but the last camshaft is 497 intake and exhaust it's got uh, 244 intake 244 exhaust duration at 50 thou and it's also on 108 degree lobe separation angle or sorry 108 degree center line that's going to be our winner that should make this uh, 340 here uh, have a good little hump at idle and turn on really good through the rpm uh, couple that with my magnum aluminum heads my m1 single plane intake and my 750 uh, quick fuel race carb we're gonna have a good little engine here So here it is. Notice the purple paint between all the lobes. Now don't be afraid either. It's uh, yeah, it's been sitting. It got a little bit of rust from sitting in his uh, sea can storage, but I happen to know it will buff up just fine with a little bit of emery cloth, and I have zero concerns. Like look, a little bit of wipe off, and look at how clean that comes already. So yeah, even just a quick look, these can bearings are wiped out well there we have it that's the plan is uh we're going to clean up this 340 deck surfaces uh punch in some new cam bearings replace the distributor drive bushing that is cracked and broken 
and finish going through the main and rod bearings. This thing's got next to no cylinder ridge either, so uh, I have a really happy thought that this uh, this little 340 here is going to make a nice little RPM screamer. All right, so I'm kind of ripping through this video pretty quick. Um, this is just engine removal 101, nothing fancy. Everything on the top end is disconnected. Headers are disconnected, coolant strained out. There's no oil pan on it, so the oil's drained. Um, I'm going to leave the alternator and the power steering pump on. All the connections are disconnected, wiring, you name it. Uh, engine lifting plate is on. I have to climb underneath, pull the lower bell housing bolts, uh, loosen off the engine mounts, take the starter off, and the oil filter. Once that's done, pull the hood and yard this guy out of here, get it trucked out of the way, and then we can start uh, installing the important the Alright guys, it is several days later, like four days, three for sure, it's been a bit of a blur. Um, converting everything back from the LA360 took quite a bit, uh, the things I had to change, accessory drive, some wiring, yada yada. Anyway, I've gone through all of it, um, we got my remote oil, oil filter location kit installed properly and happily. There's fluid and everything, radiator, engine, power steering. I'm running uh, 10W30 mobile semi-synthetic and Lucas Zinc additive, as well as some comp cams breaking fluid, just for safety's sake. Because we have to uh, break in these hydraulic flat tappet lifters if everything goes good and the engine actually starts. So my battery's hooked up. There's fuel in the carburetors. I believe I've got the distributor where it's supposed to be. You're going to find out with me.
You're almost there.